So after that, then I'm like, okay, if I sign a new deal, I don't know, even if there is not extension, there have been a proof of like, how could I say, in a nice way, abuse of power, right? But why are we in this position? This is the position that every fighter get into, right? I mean, be feeling powerless. We might be many hundreds of us, but it's every individual at time. We are very separated. Mm. Every case is separated. So, which means you're just weak. It's just you against the big monster, which is the company, the institution, so you can't fight. How can we make it make sense? I mean, we are not going for union, but at least you guys sometime, before make some decision, how about you have somebody in the room who can understand things from our perspective because I do believe that all the decisions that you might make will hurt us is not mean to hurt, but maybe just because you don't understand our position. Mm -hmm. Maybe if somebody there is speaking for us, which, again, I don't know who it could be, but just be mindful that, okay, this is fire position. Mm. Maybe that will help. So <laughs> you get through all this, and then where did it break down to the point where you had to walk away? He break down um, December 6th, I think it was December, no, December 20, uh, I don't remember, 19 or 22nd, something like that. I had a dinner with Hunter. After we been going through stuff, he said no to this, no to that, you know. But I have a focus. I know that, okay, if I give three fight here, since they are willing to take the three fight, it's going to make, you know, I don't want to break this relationship like this. I don't want it to be a war. Right. I can't stand. <laughs> 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 I can't stand in this. But, so we can get, trying to fix things up. But when we met again, uh, that day was the first time over all this time that we have to talk about the financial aspect. I mean, he has to propose a financial aspect. Right, so he proposed it at dinner. Yeah, he proposed at dinner. And then I just like, this guy is making fun of me. Making fun of you? Yeah. So it was disrespectful? It was like not valuable enough for you? N not at all. Mm. And you're the I champ mean, at the time. Yeah. I mean, not at all. Like when you're talking about pay-per-view, then you're negotiating pay-per-view, and then you see number like 1.25 pay-by and stuff like that, and the pay-per-view is going from six from sixty to eighty dollar in the past five years and you realize that the two one the two there is zero point two five that is on top of it is just out of the twenty dollar that been added on. I'm like, come on man. It's not my first pay per view contract and just wasn't enough money. What, it wasn't even about the, the money, even how it was structured, even how it was. I'm like, this doesn't make sense. You know, I, I went home and I was so, I don't know, frustrated or disappointed. I don't know how I can describe. But one thing I know, I went online, I'm like, I'm missing Christmas with my family. I'm here training for a potential tra John Jones fight, which might not happen what for seems like we are not getting anywhere close i booked a flight that mm. night to go to cameroon and i was in cameroon in the christmas and then a couple of days after i received a text from mick mick Manor, who was you know mick usually sometimes just send me a friendly text to check on me and then we talk a little bit and then he talk about the um, the contract, like he, he heard that 
we didn't come to a term. I say yes. He said like, is it anything that I can do? I'm like, I don't think so. We didn't just have a an agreement. And um, he said, how about I make it? We we talk again. Let's get in the meeting with Hunter again and talk. And uh, as I said, Mick always be nice and. I couldn't say no. I'm like, yes, let's try. In fact, I wish it could have worked, you know, because to be honest, I never like really, before all this, I never imagined a life out of the UFC. I thought he would be like my fighting platform until my retirement or something. Mm -hmm. But uh, clearly things has changed along the way. So even when they came back a second time, it still was not enough. Yeah, because when they came back, and um, all this time that that we've been talking, they've been talking about the um, uh, how the what is the term back pay? Yeah, we're gonna back pay you from because if from all the fight that I've been refused, uh, refusing to renegotiate mm -hmm. uh, the pay that they were proposing. They said they're going to back pay me that. When they come out now and then make pay better, and now I'm like, okay, the back pay and this and that. And I'm like, no, no, everything is in this contract. This is it. This is it. And then I'm like, okay. Well, then I don't know what to say if you say this is it because you're, it's against your word. You say something, and now you say this is it. I still don't have the back pay, bro. So they proposed the back pay, and then they took it no, away? Yeah, they've been proposing the back pay before. Mm -hmm. if, after the um, Siri fight, they get the, uh, invite us to a dinner, and then keep reminding me how they're going to back pay me, right. everything. Because I have a, a good a proposal at the time. But I know that proposal, and he was a good money, but I know he was just a bay to sign a contract. Mm -hmm. He was just to put the pen on the paper. He wasn't really like a good fade, like what, how they want to make, give me a good contract. 